Hey there my friends, uh, welcome back to more Super Mario 64, I'm Hugo the Artifier and in the last episode we finished up uh, shifting Sandlands, uh, went into Dire Dire Docks, uh, fetched one star before we fought uh, Bowser for a second time in the, in the Fire World. And this episode we are going to start off uh, with uh, jumping back into Dire Dire Docks uh, and yeah we are definitely going to finish up this stage uh, this episode. Chests in the current. So, we might as well start off with uh, a point of contention of mine, now that I remember. Now that I remember, at the time of recording this uh, playthrough right now, YouTube has uh, implemented their decision to. Um, Excuse me. To uh, basically remove the dislike bar from videos. For some reason. I mean, some of you may already know why they are doing it, but uh, that is unfortunate uh, in the grand scheme of things, I, I believe. Because I think one of the first arguments people will make. Uh, in favor of why they removed it is that uh, is so that smaller uh, channels can uh, become more motivated because uh, there is a fair chance that uh, the videos you put out will uh, instead get bombarded by uh, negative people for no good reason. So even when you don't really deserve a thumb a thumb down. Your video is still, will still get it because you know some people are just cynical assholes. Because as uh, you have probably already noticed, even really good videos have uh, quite a handful of dislikes, and uh, I'm never really sure where, where they come from. So I can only assume there are just very cynical people out there who. I just like to dislike things with the thumb, thumb down button just because they can. So people might want to defend YouTube's decision by saying that uh, it's for the sake of mental health. But um, a famous quote which I stand by is that facts don't care for your feelings. Because what the dislike bar could help uh, YouTube viewers with uh, when they click on the video is to see just at first glance if it is actually good. Like if it even delivers. Uh, if it even remotely. Uh, first, pole jumping for red coins. The dislike bar uh, could help uh, YouTube viewers to. Um, judge a video at first glance uh, that uh, they can get an idea of that maybe the video isn't in, even remotely delivering as it uh, promises in the title which is uh, which can be typical for tutorial videos because that's another thing um, people people doesn't go to YouTube just to get entertained many 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 people go to YouTube to learn from it too so tutorial videos, uh, it is even more essential for tutorial videos to be to be more to be reliable. And if they are, if tutorials are not reliable, like if they are bad, then they deserve a thumb down because uh, the methods in the video either is not ex explained well enough, uh, they outright do, do not work, or that. Um, once again, the, the, the video does not even contain uh, something remotely promised in the title. So, uh, with a dislike bar being used for its intended purpose, people are able to click out of a video before wasting time uh, watching it uh, and then come out with nothing. So that is definitely one reason uh, the YouTube uh, dislike bar needed to stay. 
and some more popular um, some more popular uh, names on YouTube have been asked of, of course what they think about the dislike bar being removed. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention is that we we cannot see how many people dislike the video if it's not our own video. Like the videos I put out. Oh darn! The videos I put out, I can see how many people dislike them from my uh, from my uh, channel studio. But um, if I was to watch a video which I did not create, then I cannot see how many people dislike that one. Like, we are able to thumb down videos, but we cannot see the bar anymore for some reason. So, yeah. And like I said, uh, some other big name YouTubers have been asked what they think about the YouTube remo removing them bar. And some uh, actually. Wait! Really? <laughs> Well, it is. But some actually don't uh, know uh, quite what to think about it because uh, they get the idea of uh, motivation. Uh, at first glance, uh, anyway. But they still don't uh, really have a strong opinion about it quite yet. But I also think uh, that they probably don't want to make YouTube upset. <laughs> Because uh, at the end of the day, they make money off of YouTube, so they just have to do whatever their boss uh, tells them, basically. Which is a shame. But I, but I have seen other, but I do have seen really big name, really big name uh, YouTubers uh, who do call YouTube out on their bullshit like that. And that is uh, refre refreshing, to say the least. So yeah, it's uh, it's a bad decision, bluntly put. Like, uh, I don't think there is uh, any point in discussing it. It's, it's ugh, ah, I had to go back anyway. It's uh, just bad. Bring it back. Because, like I said, facts do not care for your feelings. If you put out a bad video, like a really, really, really bad one... Uh, hmm. Like clickbait, for instance. Clickbait, which isn't even remotely charming nor entertaining. Then it deserves a dislike. And people deserve to, and people deserve to see that. coming over here it should so back to Mario 64 um these uh, moving poles I believe they don't even show up before you defeat Bowser like you have to beat Bowser before you can even do this mission properly it may be possible to do it still I mean probably I mean there are speedruns of this game for a reason <laughs> but yeah if I remember cor correctly you can only do mission 1 and 2. And then you must beat Bowser for this to be possible. But there we go. Here we go. You have found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved. Thanks to you and the... Thanks to you, and this uh, blah. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved. Thanks to you, and this Bowser ever upset. Now on to the final bout. I haven't even touched the next area yet. <laughs> Just goes to show you, I guess. Through the jet stream. Is this another one which we need uh, the metal cap for? Uh, no. Me thinks no. I just realized. 
I collected the 8 red coins without going for the 100 coin star. Alright, let's see if we can uh, do it right now then. That there is a whirlpool. Get caught in it, and you lose life. And you can feel its draw when you get close enough. And some of these coins are placed in... Uh, a uh, suggestive location, I would say. Like these right here. This uh, vertical placement, which you have to uh, fiddle around with the uh, current pulling you in. Not even a damn pearl. That clam is useless! Okay, I f think that's it. Nope, uh, there are some scattered on the ocean bed. Or ocean floor, rather. Do they even call it? Ouch! <gasps> Clams, man. It's only a matter of time. Okay, that might be it. So, yeah, let's move on. Did I ever comment on this music being one of the best uh, water themes to ever exist in video game history? Maybe the maybe the best music in video game history in general? It can't uh, be stressed enough. It is simply a masterpiece. An ambient uh, masterpiece. You see a big hole in the wall over there? That is where that is where Bowser's sub took off after we collected the first star. Um, yes, and if you get sucked into that hole, you will end up uh, at the castle courtyard. At the lake, actually. The pond. There is a blue coin switch up there. It is... Oh. It is very possible that we need to deal with uh, red coin uh, poles too. Uh, where was it again? Right over there. All right. Uh, oh. Death perception be damned. here. No sudden movement, I guess. Ah, shit! Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and collect uh, eight red coins, so see you in a bit. Alright, now where are the rest exactly? Some over here. Somehow I believe there should be a, another blue coin switch. Maybe there are just more in this water. There must be. Like... Uh... Oh, here we have something. Okay, four more. We might have to swim back, actually. Perhaps. Go. Oh, are you... That hole up there, by the way, if you get too close, it will suck you in. So, do swim. 
actively swim away from it. This is a good spot. But there we go. Shit, 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 shit. Away, please. Thank you. Now for the proper star. Through the jet stream, it says. I think we start from top. And then we simply swim through these rings. Just five of them. And the star is out of reach. I think. Oh! Here we go. <laughs> Did not even need that one. <laughs> Check the well hundred, good to go. Wake up! The Manta Race Reward. This is a Devil... Uh, Ma Manta Race? I believe they are also known as the Devil Race. Oh, there were coins up here! Huh. Yeah, Manta Race, I believe they are also known as the Devil Race. Regardless, uh, they have to be one of the most uh, friendliest... Uh, and the curious uh, ocean creatures. Just swim through his rings like this. Aim carefully. Next one, please. Really? Okay, yes, it has to be five in a row. So let's just keep up. And there we go. Nothing to it. That is another quick star. Here we go. It's just about a whirlpool too, huh? Just in case you mess up. Because the game was designed like that. As for the last one, collect the caps. At this point in the game, they re I think this is where they really want you to have unlocked all of the... All of the power caps. Well, at the very least, uh, the vanish cap and the metal cap. But here is the thing, though. We are first going to take a look at where this star actually is. It is... Uh, trapped inside that cage right there. And as you could probably guess at this point, we are going to need a vanish cap to get through. However, there's a metal cap there too. Supposedly the game wants you to uh, do, use a combination of both. Uh, because, yes, you can do that by the way. Now we are... Now this is kind of awesome. A Metal Mario which cannot be touched. <laughs> the game wants you to um, use both caps, however... It's quite honestly just an effect one. Because, yes! Not sure why the mission description was like that, but whatever. We're gonna need all of the caps if we want to get 100% anyway, but that's it. It's time. It is time to head up uh, to the top floor of the castle. The final area. Da da da, da da da. There's a spiral staircase up there, over there, but uh, a very easy glitch to perform. Just jump up here and we're at the top. We're at the top already. <laughs> you didn't quite get to see that properly, but uh, okay, now which stage do I want to tackle first? 
I believe it's that one over there. Or is it... No. Actually, um... <clears throat> Thanks, Mario. The castle is recovering its energy as you retrieve power stars, and you chase Bowser right out of here. Out of here. On to some area ahead. Oh, by the by, are you collecting coins? Special stars appear. Okay, yes. He teaches us about, uh... Uh, 100 coin stars. What does, um... Uh... Another told. <clears throat> thanks to the power stars of the of the thanks to the power of the stars, life is returned to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the about, about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the water town, you get flooded with a high jump into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. One of the castle's secret stars. Uh, thank you, Toad. Here we go. Only three more to go. Uh, which stage to jump into first? Sure, let's jump into this one. Wet, dry world. Shocking arrow lifts. Did you see how high up I jumped into the painting? I pretty much, uh, I pretty much uh, aimed for the bottom. Because of that, ouch! Uh, because of that, the water level is at its uh, lowest right now. Let's try to do something about it. See these crystals? Touch them and the water level will rise up to where they stand. So you want to raise the water? Well, find a crystal which is uh, above the water. That is where we want to go. So yes, I totally could have like uh, made the process a lot shorter by jumping high up into the painting. But I decided to show off uh, what happens when you jump into it uh, from a low point. Just to get that out of the way. Sneaky fireball guy right there, huh? But this, but uh, the thing about the painting and the water level. We, once again, because we did not understand any English at the time. That was something we had to discover on our own and uh, make note of. Pay attention, so to say. We are supposed to use these arrow blocks, but... Uh, we are Mario. Here we go. That's number one. I think we have time for like two or three more stars before we hit the... Half hour mark because I did. I think I had to cut out a couple minutes because I was collecting those at eight red coins. Top of the town, which is a good thing. Why uh, that we jumped uh, with a high water level. That one. Let's try to. Hmm. 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 There he is. The questionable draw distance, man. <clears throat> Ready to go. I'll let you. Oh. Let's see. Can we get uh, both of them? Even though that's where we want to go, but uh, well... This way. Ah! A bit too high. Whatever, let's skip those. Alright. One more try, I think. <laughs> just... Just because I feel like it. I did say we want to maybe... 
get a set, a set number of stars before the half hour marker, but uh, this is a let's play in the end. Let's have some fun. Oh! I disagree. And because of that, I quit. My latest job interview in a nutshell. Not really, but you know. I think most people know that certain. Uh, that a lot of job interviews have some. Well, really questionable questions and how they conduct their interviews, I believe. Like oftentimes I sit there and think, how is how is this relevant to uh, me working for you? Huh. Anyway. That was the one, top of the town. Yeah, I, I think you will benefit more from just uh, starting the stage uh, with a high water level. <laughs> that was too high apparently. Secrets in the shallows and sky. So, should we start from the top or the bottom? Let's try the top. Oh! Sneaky, sneaky. Let's uh, lower the water level a little bit. There we go. Not quite enough. No. A bit more. But where's that one? Maybe I need to... Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it has to be this one. With that... Oh yeah! yeah, yeah. Sometimes the triple jump will not respond as I expect. Hmm. But now we're able to push this dock aside. Oi! And fetch this. Except uh, that was totally not it. It must be here then. That's one secret. Is that one too? Stand aside, please. I come in peace. <clears throat> I'm Super Mario. I come in peace. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. No, that's... Uh... That's the star, but whoa! Oh. Now we got better footing. To completely miss, of course. So let's do it the um, right way. That was another secret, good. Oof! Okay, now let's lower the water level even more. To this much, perhaps? Wait. It was over there. This stage can be somewhat time consuming, I suppose, so this is definitely one of the slower ones. I do believe. Um. Was it something over here? No, it wasn't. Is that box over there? It? Nope. So with that, uh, we may as well drain all of the water. Like so. Haha! <laughs> Push this block. That's three. That's four. Okay, where was the fifth one again? Damn it. Here? Mm. Great, I believe I forgot. Mm. 
not quite there. Is there another block I need to bust open? That's the star. Well, sh shoot. Um. Okay, let's try. Or was it? Oh. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh. I have stated several times, I believe, death perception is not my weakness. Get it together. I think we're going to uh, end the episode after this star. Ah! That water tectite apparently disagrees. <clears throat> again! 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 I appreciate it, but I'm a mere mortal. I need, I need my rest. Okay, seriously, where is it? Drift! <sighs> I didn't even move that much. Here is a that block, but I was just pushing it the wrong way. Are you for real? Are you for real right now? Is that what it is? That what it is? No, it can't be. That coin? Drifting! It's not even this tunnel. Okay. I'm... Oh. oh, is it that one? No way. It can't be that easy, can it? It can't be that obvious, and uh, yet I still missed it. Can I reach it with a jump from here? Oh my god! Right, you damn controller. <sighs> it was that block. <sighs> yeah. 
Yare, yare da ze. Well, we got it. I really need to cut this down properly. Well, that's it. Next time we will finish up Wet Dry World and continue on exploring the last area of this game. Take care and bye bye!